welcome everyone. Uh, for those of you using Shipgear today, Starship, we appreciate your business. And today's you know, uh, webinar is really to talk about um, our Starship Cloud Platform, which we were really excited about here at B-Technology, uh, really launched back in March, um, and kind of really has all the same characteristics, features of what our Starship on-prem solution offers, but with the main difference of having a monthly SaaS uh, offering um, to you as a customer. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of highlight, as Caroline mentioned, kind of high level today, uh, some of the main features that Starship offers um, over our Shipgear product. Uh, and just to give you an option of what you potentially could migrate to, uh, if you are using Starship today as our on-prem user um, and wanna migrate to the cloud version, we can also um, help you out with that as well. Um, again, we can have an offline discussion about that uh, option if you're uh, interested. All right, so for those of you brand new to V Technologies, don't know much about us, um, we're here all located in Cheshire, Connecticut. Um, we have about uh, 40 employees and we've been around since 1987. Uh, Starship itself is our flagship product. Uh, it's been around since 1989. And we have many years, as you can see here, of developing uh, our solution uh, and kind of working with multiple different carrier platforms to offering those needs that you are all looking for. Uh, when it comes to automating your shipping process. We do work very closely with the folks at UPS and FedEx uh, in their subsidy programs. Uh, so for those of you who are aware of the CTP program or technology incentive program that carriers offer, Starship is also an um, option for those uh, programs. So if you do have funds available, uh, please let us know and we can help you out with that as well. Um, we've been uh, um, partners really with QuickBooks into it um, since 2002. Um, mostly on their developer side and kind of having this, you know, uh, plug and play platform uh, with QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Enterprise. We joined, uh, and back in 2019, uh, we joined part of what they call their QSP program, um, which basically, really for everyone here on the call, is really just an offering that we can be a one-stop shop for all of your QuickBooks licensing needs, along with any of your uh, Starship licensing needs as well, and we'll talk more about that, what that, uh, what the advantage of doing that is here in a moment. And we have about 10,000 customers across, you know, different ERP accounting systems that are out there um, using Starship today, um, and we're basically growing that, you know, every single day here. So excited here, again, talking more about the cloud. Um, when we talk about our Intuit and our V-Technologies partnership, um, so really what this all means for you, if you decide that you want V Technologies to be kind of that, you know, like I said, that one-stop shop we've been talking about is really just, you know, basically offering you a bundle savings, right? So if you come to us and looking to upgrade to QuickBooks Enterprise, uh, you might be a QuickBooks Premier user today uh, or an online user and looking to upgrade, you can save money by going through V Technologies versus going through Intuit directly. Um, we do offer discounts on new licenses with QuickBooks as well as any upgrades. So if you're looking to just upgrade to the latest version of QuickBooks, which in QuickBooks right now, they're about to launch their latest version of 21 here in about a month. Um, so again, if you're interested in that and, and have going through VTech, we can talk about what discounts are available to you there as well. Um, on our on-premise edition of Starship, um, you can get discounts on our Starship platform up to 75% off, uh, depending on the tier level that you will uh, uh, qualify for. And that's based on the number of users that are basically using QuickBooks in your environment today. Uh, on the Starship Cloud um, platform, uh, we offer a 10% um, uh, discount off your Starship um, SaaS offering that you'll choose uh, by you know, going through us as well. And then lastly, you'll have a 20% discount on your QuickBooks licensing. So whatever plan you choose uh, inside of QuickBooks, that is the discount that you would receive from V Technologies um, by going through us. And that will be a perpetual discount, which basically will stay with you the lifetime of your QuickBooks license and not expire. So that's a very um, big advantage. Uh, I know Intuit likes to push their one-time um, use promos um, to a lot of users, and then they expire, and then you go back to MSRP pricing. Starship, VTech, we're going to give you a 20% discount that's going to last all throughout the lifetime of your license with QuickBooks. So as we talk about, you know, what you should really know about Starship and kind of where we differentiate over Shipgear here a little bit. Um, so really we offer only two platforms of QuickBooks. So you can integrate with QuickBooks Enterprise or you can integrate with QuickBooks Online. Those are the two integrations we offer with Starship. Whereas Shipgear, you do have the ability to integrate with Premier, Pro, Enterprise Online as well. Um, again, you're gonna have the ability here um, where you can basically update e-commerce platforms 
um, as a, um, uh, an extension, or you can go direct um, with um, your integration if you prefer. And then you also, if you grow out of QuickBooks, uh, many of our users are looking at integrations like with Fishbowl or Activate, in which we also have integrations built around that as well with Starship, where we don't have with ShipGear today. I think my internet connection just uh, just uh, died on me here. Sorry, I'm on mute. I'm here. For those of you that aren't familiar with Starship, I'm just going to continue on for time while you go ahead and try to get up and running there. Um, basically, being able to see all your carrier options. So Starship does support both small package and LTL. Um, and part of the small package piece of it is also offering discounted post office rates um, and the ability to obviously perform rate shops to be able to view um, best rate for any one particular shipment. Um, there's also um, kind of in conjunction with the rating custom rules. Um, so we have something called ship via rules if you want to um, find the least expensive way to get a package out um, you know, by, by a certain date. You can have some rules set up so that it can automatically select the carrier in service or um, you know, you can look at the rate shop and it still can select it from there. So a lot of options wrapped around, um, you know, having different carriers, um, looking at small package versus LTL. If you're in that realm, um, you might be on the cusp of like 100 weight versus LTL. Um, and this is a great way to be able to see what would be, you know, the best option for you um, in terms of uh, freight costs. Um, this we'll find with um, Starship our custom rules. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, ship via rules, being able to determine uh, the best carrier and service method, service method for your shipment. We also have something called freight rules, which we also have in ship gear. But the nice thing with Starship is that because we're bringing in line item information, you can create freight rules around the line items that are coming in. So you have an additional level of data there. Um, and then on printing logic, uh, Starship supports all kinds of labels and documents. Um, you can customize those. Um, we have um, a combination shipping label plus packing list if you want to do that. Um, and a lot of our customers will actually customize that um, to, for example, like Wayfair or someone that they're drop shipping for. Maybe they just want to print that particular combination out um, for a specific customer that they're drop shipping for. So um, there's a lot of flexibility around printing. Um, we also support printing th things like the packing list directly to a four by six inch label. Um, so if you wanted to print the shipping label um, followed by the packing list, you can do that as well. Um, and then just um, put the packing list inside the box, stick the label on the outside and be done with it. So um, a lot more flexibility there. Um, EDI integration, if you're working with any big box stores, any um, marketplaces um, that are requiring EDI, we do have um, integration to many of the EDI solutions um, in the space. Um, SPS Commerce, True Commerce, we have some customers that run B2B Gateway. So um, we can support that. We will basically send the shipment detail off to the EDI provider so that they can automate the ASN creation from there. Um, so really just trying to minimize the amount of copy paste that are happening or manual entry that's happening um, between the shipping application and the EDI solution. In addition to that, Starship can print out the GS1-128 label. So if you do have the 128 requirement from your trading partners, um, you can print that at the same time as the shipping label uh, to help you know, in the shipping process, making sure that you're getting the, the combination of labels um, correct so that it's accurate, um, as well as just helping the shippers themselves not have to um, match things up and print things out from your EDI solution and then shipping solution and get those all together. Um, so a lot to do with um, EDI if you're interested in that. Um, and then just having flexibility of on-prem or cloud. Um, so you, Starship um, historically has been an on-prem solution. 
um, but we've recently launched our cloud solution with the integration to both QuickBooks Enterprise and QuickBooks Online. And that gives you um, the ability to get all the features and offerings that Starship has as far as all of the you know, parcel carriers um, available to you and the line item integration um, for a very small minimum monthly fee. Um, so if you're interested in reducing um, you know, the, the cost of your um, shipping app while still getting all the benefits that Starship has to offer, cloud is a great solution for that. Um, we also, if you're, you know, if you're working with other um, hosting providers like go to my ERP or Fishbowl, um, we have worked with many of those as well. So if you're looking more about running um, your QuickBooks and Starship um, in your own private cloud, um, we can support that as well. Um, so just to go on on the Starship cloud side, we wanted to really, you know, give you some more information on that. Um, we do have a 30-day free trial. Um, so when we send out the um, email that has the information with the um, link to this um, video, we will include the um, link to get the 30-day free trial for Starship Cloud. Um, and you can start from there, test it out with QuickBooks Enter Enterprise or QuickBooks Online um, and get a really good you know, kind of feel for the application. Um, we basically tiered um, the pricing. Um, our first tier starts at 20 bucks a month. Um, it does give you all e-commerce um, platforms, all small package platforms, and if you're running QuickBooks Online, it includes QBO. Um, if you're looking at QBE, there is an additional fee for the QBE interface. Um, you can see all of that from um, the page that we're going to send over to you. If you're shipping LTL, um, we have a separate um, uh, module for LTL. Basically, you can um, add that in. It's going to give you all the LTL carriers that we currently support in cloud. Um, so you won't have to, um, you know, purchase those per module like we have in on-prem. You're basically, if you have the freight um, function, you're going to have all carriers there. Um, and with all carriers that we support, um, or I should say all carriers except for 3PLs, um, we're going to be supporting like the direct connection that you have with a particular carrier. So literally you will put in your credentials for that particular carrier, just like you would if you were to log into their website to maybe um, manually retrieve a BOL or go in. Um, and it's pretty simple. You, you put your credentials in. Sometimes there's a couple other pieces of info that you have to add in. Um, but at that point, Starship's basically gonna connect directly up to the carrier um, for rating, tendering, tracking, um, so you'll be able to see your actual negotiated rates all come through Starship. And then um, Starship does also support um, other, you know, rates within it. So although we're going to be getting your negotiated rate directly from the carrier, you will be able to also see published rates. Um, and you'll also be able to actually create your own um, rules on top of rates, which you'll be able to see within Starship as well. And I guess the last thing here is, um, as Simon mentioned, with being in the QSP program, that we are offering bundled um, discounts of Starship and QuickBooks Enterprise, um, so both Starship on-prem and QBE. And cloud, Starship cloud, sorry. This is just a visual of some of the carriers that we support. Again, a combination of um, small parcel, LPL, some regionals in there, and 3PLs. Um, so hopefully with um, the Starship platform, um, you'll be able to get a great mix of um, your carriers, um, not just necessarily those carriers that we may support in the ship gear world. And on the e-commerce integration side, again, as I mentioned, um, with cloud, the uh, e-commerce integrations are included in all of the um, tiers. Uh, so if you wanted to connect directly to your e-commerce platform, you can do that. 
Um, we also support um, e-commerce as an extension. So um, let's just say you already are getting your Magenta orders into QuickBooks. Uh, well, if you wanted to ship against that um, QuickBooks document, you can ship against it in Starship. Starship can update Magento or can update QuickBooks, and it can also update Magento at the same time. Um, so you have some flexibility there as far as the e-commerce integration goes. Um, next up, transportation analysis. This is, you know, a lot of our ship your customers um, may find that they're looking to go with the post office to maybe reduce some of that freight spend, but they're not quite sure should they go, how much are they really going to save. Um, one thing is in, in um, Starship Cloud, if you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you'll have access to the post office. You can literally do some rate shopping if you wanted to look at that. Um, we work with Visible Supply Chain to provide you with discounted rates within Starship. Um, so right off the bat, you don't have to do any volume. You don't have to sign any agreements with the post office. You're just gonna get you know, the pretty good rates. Um, if you wanted to, um, we do have transportation analysis available um, where you can provide us information on your um, UPS or FedEx shipments and we can work with Visible to provide an analysis of how much you might be able to save going with the post office. So that's an option as well. Um, we work with Post on the back end to provide um, as our electronic postage provider for handling the communication of funds between you and the post office, um, as well as generating those um, post office labels. Um, and Easy Post actually has um, also a promotion going on now um, to help our customers. So um, you get basically um, cash back in the form of postage um, for your Q4 spending um, on qualified labels. We can give you additional information on that as well if that's of interest to you. Um, but also something good there as far as on the post office side um, to get even more savings. Okay, we had um, a Starship for QuickBooks demo schedule. Simon, were you I'm able to here. get back online? I'm yeah, I'm here, so we can go through that really quick. Um, so I think okay, I can awesome. get back. If you want to give me access to the screen, I think I can show my screen. Actually, I'm just going to change here because I made myself the presenter. One sec. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, well, thanks, Caroline, for taking care of that. And I apologize, everyone, for the uh, technical difficulties there, but I'm hopefully back online. Um, so we're going to go through a very quick demonstration um, on kind of the thing that, you know, Caroline was touching on there. Uh, this is going to be very high level. So if we need to kind of schedule a private one-on-one, -on -one, we can do that, kind of go in more detail what you're looking for. Um, but really, um, as I mentioned earlier, start you need world any longer we don't need post office portals um fedex portals you're going to just come in log into your um, web client to starship cloud um here and you're going to come into really your main screen where all your orders are going to be you know listed here um now the one thing um with our um uh, integration with quickbooks um, that we offer especially on the enterprise side is that we only can we can filter orders out to only look for those that have not yet been processed, which has been a huge um, advantage for a lot of shippers. Um, so you don't have any duplication of shipments. Um, so you can see that here I have basically a filter set to only look for those orders that have not yet processed. And when we write back to QuickBooks, we will write um, that word process into a custom field that I'll show you here in a minute. Um, so before I go into the order, just to kind of talk a little bit, a couple of things in this screen, you can scan a sales order, a sales invoice into this um, area here and basically hit enter and pull in your order information automatically. Or you can basically just use our shortcut of our little truck icon off to the right and just pull in that order that we're working with. Um, I should mention that you can, um, in the enterprise integration, we can work with sales order, sales invoice, or sales receipt um, as a source document. 
Um, with QuickBooks Online integration, we can only support your sales receipt or your invoice, um, which most people use invoice in QuickBooks Online. So when we pull up the information out of QuickBooks, um, it's basically everything's in front of you here. So from top to bottom, we have our order number we're working with. We have our apply charges that are going to be put back into QuickBooks. I'll talk a little bit in a moment about what apply charges are. Um, we brought in our ship via that I've selected in QuickBooks. So we map that in, um, bring that in accordingly here. We'll default that to your prepaid account with UPS in this example. Um, if you do third-party shipping or drop shipping uh, and want to default to those third-party accounts you're utilizing, we do have um, uh, information in here that we can build and map to QuickBooks to pull the appropriate account information in and set the appropriate third-party ID. So when we locate that recipient and we no notice that there's a third-party ID um, uh, assigned to it, we can basically have the appropriate account number come in here as well. Off in the right corner here, we have our recipient information. This is just the ship to information out of QuickBooks. Um, this is basically coming in for any domestic address, either parcel or LTL. Um, we will do an address validation behind the scenes upon import. Um, that's what the green checkbox up in the upper right corner is representing, that everything's checked out to be good. We not only check for street address, but we also check for residential versus commercial locations, which is a huge um, thing that a lot of customers like as well. Um, then you have basically down below our packaging and line items. So this is one of the main differences in what Shipgear offers today. Um, basically, you don't have this line item detail information um, that Starship offers. So really here you can see in my order, I had three specific items that I'm gonna basically default into one box. You can utilize what we call packaging scenarios, um, if you prefer, where you can define item to box detail, or you can do what I just did here, have everything come into a box. And if you wanted to, just basically very simple, add a box here and then either move your items by a drag and drop feature or you can basically leave it as it was and just as long as your second box has a dimension and a weight you can go ahead and process the shipment in this example so now you'll notice that i have two items in one box i have another item in another box and now i can generate one my general label i'll have the ability to generate my packing list along with that so my customers can see basically what's inside of each package type also note here that we do have a packaging database where you can store um, either one by one or you can bulk upload into Starship's database all of your different box sizes with dimensions and weights so you don't have to enter that manually. Um, Starship does support scales. So if you're using a scale tied to your computer, we can enable that where it'll read the uh, weight off that scale. Um, and we also support dimensional weight, which is a big thing in the industry today, um, where you basically, as long as you have dimensions, which we highly recommend, we don't require, but we recommend those. Um, Starship will be able to tell you if dimensional weight is gonna be applicable. So when you see the rates below, they're gonna be accurate for all the carriers you're gonna be using as well. Um, so once you have your packaging all um, assigned here, you basically can go into um, your rate shop here um, and basically see all your different rates that are available to you. Um, you have basically your published rates, you have your contracted rates, which are your negotiated rates, and then we have something called applied rates. Those applied rates are what Caroline was mentioning earlier with the rules. Um, we call these freight rules that you can assign. You know, you, I have one example here where I'm putting a 30% markup on all my shipments. So that apply charge is going to get written back in the QuickBooks in this example. Um, you can have it by customer name. You can do it by values. Um, we have uh, a, a variety of rules you can assign. We don't restrict you on the rules. So again, that's really up to you and what you want to see here. Um, but again, that's something you take advantage of or just pass along your negotiated rates. If you're not happy with um, what you see from UPS in this example and you want to rate shop your different carriers or see in that case that Caroline mentioned about post office um, here, you can also do a, a, a rate shop. So this is one of the key features of Starship, the ability to rate shop all in one screen. So by clicking a button, it's going to go out, make that call to each of your APIs that are on your um, license for each carrier and pull back in your negotiated rates um, that are available to you in this example. So we're gonna show you all applicable carriers. So if you have a mix of LTL and parcel, you can have those all um, be shown here. So that way you can make a determination in certain examples, is it cheaper to go parcel versus cheaper to go LTL? And this example that I have here below, you can see UPS is sort of like fifth in line. Um, we're not only gonna return rates, but we're gonna return the transit time. So in this case, it's gonna get there in one business day. Um, and it's going to cost me about $44 and change. Um, whereas if you look up top, post office with Easy Post um, with Priority Mail, we'll get there also in one day. 
and it's going to be there for $27 with the rates that we will provide you for priority mail. So in this example, it might make sense to switch it to priority mail if I'm the shipper. So it's simple as just clicking the box next to priority mail in this example. And basically what's going to happen is it'll switch it automatically to your easy post account. And now I can go ahead and process my post office labels. I don't need to re-import the order all over again. So once I'm ready to go ahead and process the shipment, I can simply hit ship and process down below or F3 will do the same thing. And this will basically, again, print your labels here with the post office. It will send the tracking information just like Shipyard does today back into QuickBooks in real time. Uh, and again, from here, um, and we're also gonna update that flag I'll show you in a minute. So just to give you an idea what the labels look like, um, so this is a smart label as we refer to it here at V Technologies, um, where we have our label on one half of the uh, page here and the other half is our packing list. Um, this use a die cut label where you can just peel it off and stick it on the box. Some people prefer to use their thermal labels. That's also accept acceptable as well, where we can print one behind the other. Um, or some people prefer to print one to a thermal and one to a laser printer with a piece of paper. So you, we have options um, that we can set those to. Um, so again, you're not um, you know, uh, forced to use this label that's on your screen here. But this just gives you an idea what the labels look like. So you'll see your second label here with the packing list. Uh, we also have another packing list called the shipment packing list that you can print if you prefer to have one for your entire shipment as well. So when we come back into QuickBooks to show you what the write back looks like in QuickBooks, you'll see it here on the screen. Um, so you'll have basically here, we write back the service um, as post office in this example, along with the two tracking numbers. We also can put a timestamp here. We also have a variety of other information we can put back into QuickBooks if you prefer. Um, but again, this is the basic information most people look for, um, along with those applicable freight charges um, that I was talking about here will be listed there for you as well. So now you can go ahead and invoice this out. And then lastly, we updated the custom field called ship status to process. So now that's basically going to remove it from that lookup window back in Starship where we started from. So it kind of takes us through kind of the high level overview of a parcel uh, workflow here. Um, I'm going to kind of show you very quick because I know we're up against time. I just want to show you quickly kind of a couple other benefits you're going to receive in Starship. Um, so we do have a dashboard that's built into Starship here as well, uh, where you'll have access to a variety of reports, charts, graphs, heat maps, um, you name it. It's all at your fingertips. Um, so you can add these, remove these, customize them, whatever you prefer to do here. Uh, but you'll also, one of my favorites that I always like to show is this heat map down below. Uh, where in real time, we're going to show you where those shipments are going across the country. So you can kind of determine where maybe some sales and marketing efforts may need to be uh, made um, to kind of expand those markets a little bit. So this is kind of a, a neat feature we recently added here um, that you can take advantage of as well. And then lastly here, we do have our um, templates where you can set up for e-notifications. So big thing, um, especially in e-commerce space, a lot of customers are taking advantage of these now where your customers want to be notified of their shipments that are being sent to them. So here, I'm just going to show you an example. So here's the order that we just did um, so that I've created. So you can put your company logo here if you prefer. Um, we don't restrict you anything in here to put in. This is up to you to design these emails, what you want your customers to see. Um, so here, I basically am thanking them, giving them their master tracking number, which is a hyperlink. So if I were to click on that link here, it's going to take me out to the post office site so they can track their own orders. I've inserted a table with the multiple tracking numbers along with I've packed inside of each box. And then if you're an e-commerce shipper and you have a website and you want them to come back and order some more product, I've also given them a coupon code for a future sale that I can track as well. So that's just uh, kind of, a, a, you know, one of the many templates you can, you know, coordinate here uh, and set up and then, um, you know, have these sent out either at the time of shipment or my preference would be to tell you send them at the end of the day, just in case the carrier doesn't come pick up tonight, you don't get bombarded with a bunch of emails and phone calls tomorrow wondering why the package hasn't arrived. So always want to set that at the end of the day so they can be batched and then sent out all at the same time once the carriers have all come and picked up. So that kind of concludes the demo portion. 